My mom, she lives on six acres and she takes care of it all by herself. I had just come in from doing my yard work and was in the process of making a sandwich when Lois, my sister, called. She wanted to know what kind of a sandwich I was making, but I wasn't able to communicate. I, I couldn't think of the word. I didn't know what it was. She had been reading uh, in her medical magazines about strokes, and she knew that something definitely was wrong. I needed to get to the hospital immediately. My phone notified me that I had a message, and it was my aunt saying that my mother had been taken to the hospital. Asante Three Rivers Medical Center. The moment someone like Mary Lou comes in with stroke symptoms, we contact a neurologist who is a stroke specialist, and uh, they're able to interact immediately and directly with the patient. I got to the hospital and knelt down next to her, and I said, are you in pain? And she was able to say no, but she had had a stroke, and her speech was deteriorating. I couldn't say my name or anything. They said they would bring in a specialist, and then they rolled in a machine, a computer screen. The advantage of telemedicine is that we can bring a specialist into our exam room at any time. The robot is really a very high-quality camera on wheels that allows two-way communication between a physician who's far away and a patient right there in the exam room. Did you have any other symptoms? Like Suddenly, the doctor's face came on the screen conversing with me. We have immediate access to experienced stroke neurologists at OHSU 24-7. The next best step for you would be to get a medication called TPA. If they are having a stroke, Thrombolytic drugs such as uh, what we refer to as clot busters would be appropriate. The clot buster, yes. So the TPA was given with only 10 minutes to spare. When I talked to mom the next morning on the phone, that was the moment I knew she was gonna be fine and she was gonna have her life back. Everybody was totally blown away. After 48 hours, I was back home on the farm. It was pretty miraculous. She was back mowing her yard, taking care of the dogs, keeping her flowers watered. There's no side effects, nothing. I love my mom, and I want her to enjoy her life, her quality of life, as long as she can. No restrictions. I can eat, drink, and do whatever I want to do. We are really not missing anything in our ability to care for people in the emergency department. The technology here is phenomenal, and the specialists that we have access to are excellent. It's very comforting to know that even though we do live in a small community, we do have access to all of the technology that's available in the larger cities. Big city healthcare, yeah, right here in our own little old town.